Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. This is vlog number one from two, and in this vlog you will see exactly what happened on tour while I was trying to finish this remix for Firebeats. A lot of things went on, I'm happy you tuned back in again, can't wait to share this with you. Just arrived in Xiamen, China. Look at all this stuff. This is our denim guy, Perry, who's coming in to bring my CD players out to China. Amazing, right? So excited. It's the first Mix Mash label night that we're organizing in China ever. Not one, but two vlogs this week, as I'll be taking you through the process of my remix for Firebeat's new track, Ignite. I just traveled 15 hours to get here. On my way here, I edited my previous vlog, which is online now. Check the description below. It's super late, I'm staying on American time. It's noon in the afternoon here, which is around 1 a.m. American time. So first, a super long, luxurious sleep, and I'll catch you later. This was supposed to be my night sleep, but I really only got to sleep for five hours. It's about 6 a.m. in New York now. I'm always up early anyway. So I'm currently scrambling because I was data roaming for a bit, but I just recently renewed my subscription. And for some strange reason, they just cut me off so first thing I'm doing right now is going online and trying to see if I can make my data package bigger. Because right now, because we're in China, I can't even go on Twitter or on Instagram or on anything. Also, if you're wondering what happened in my hair. So yeah, my hairdresser thought it was a good idea to give me a same haircut as he did from Blaster Jacks. Well, I showed her this picture. So it looks nothing alike and I kind of need to work it these shows I might just even play with a hat. It's already night out in Shaman, and I'm gonna do three things before the show. Number one is work out. Number two is have dinner with the team. It's so funny, the promoter made a reservation at a French restaurant for us. I guess he thought because we are European, we would appreciate it. But we're in China. I wanna eat some dim sum. And number three, I mentioned this before in my vlogs, but since I'll be going through this treadmill of activities before the show, I really want to dive into the fabric of this track and come up with a concept. Dope. I think I have it. I think I'll make it a combination of killer sound meets one, two, three, four. Just did my hair. I think it kind of works like this, right? What do you think? Leave it in the comments. I'll definitely let it grow though. Time for the show now. So this is funny, I'm walking out to the club with my laptop because I'm copying the one Denon library to the other USB. Uh, one of the USBs wasn't working anymore, but it takes up to 40 minutes to copy my whole library because it's so big. So apparently half of the club is run by Filipinos right here. <laughs> and over here, we have Skrillapino. <laughs> I'm gonna jack you. <laughs> There it is. The first ever Mix Mash label night in China is a fact. Such an amazing crowd, really packed, and they all went absolutely crazy. And so I came back to my room, had a half hour nap, and so right now it's time to get cracking for this remix for Firebeat. Some people ask me what I produce with when I'm on the road, so these sure uh, in-ear headphones It's a half hour later, and as you can see, it's starting to get daylight again. Next stop, Thailand. Stay tuned. So we land at 2 p.m. and the sound check is at 3 p.m. Festival opens at 4 p.m. So we're trying to figure out if we're, if we're able to make it work with all the Denon equipment we have. So we're at the airport now, and while Justin is checking in, 
I'm still thinking about that beat. And so you see, even now as I'm working on this track, the concepts will keep on going in my mind during the day. Touchdown Thailand, we arrived with a delay, two and a half hours I think, right? The festival has already started and we, uh, we won't be able to set up. Luckily Justin arranged two cars. He's going to the festival straight away to sort out the setup. I'm going to the hotel so I can be focusing on the remix. And so without traffic, the ride to the hotel will be about half an hour, which gives me a little bit of time to work on this climax. Then I'll probably tweak it some more in the hotel room. So I got to my hotel room here in Thailand and Bangkok. It's funny because I just flew my drone out and there's this water festival going on. Everyone out in the streets is walking with water guns. I even got sprayed myself. So unfortunately, I only have a half an hour before my uh, pickup call uh, and I'll need to go to the festival soon. I cannot finish uh, the track yet to test out at the festival tonight. Out to my show now. I'm quite excited for it. Apparently it's a big festival, 15,000 people. Also, I just heard back from Justin, and apparently everything is going well with the setup, but let's see when I get there. off right now. The festival last night was incredible. It's so crazy having all the water out but with these temperatures it feels really nice and just really adds up to the vibe and there was such a huge crowd that really went for it. But it is a really good day to try and finish this remix right now so I can test it tomorrow. Finally found what I've been looking for. The result is quite unique. So what I'll do right now to rest my ears and to think about this in concepts again, I'll go out to train, I'll have some dinner with Justin, and then later I'll come back to and try and finish the track, the whole arrangement of it. Hey, what's up? It's good to be back. And it's here. I've done it. The whole arrangement is here, so probably just gonna take a nap and I'll finally have a version to play out just in time for my next show. I'm sorry, I lied. Well, I didn't lie about the nap but I figured it was better to film uh, the mastering process in Myanmar as it will be a change of hotel rooms. I have a little bit of time there, so I think it's best to do it there. Next stop, Myanmar. Gotta love the denim project. It's not fitting. <laughs> so I made it out to Yangon, Myanmar, former Burma. It's a major water fest here as well and it's incredible to see how people are celebrating this today by just throwing and squirting water over cars and it's madness. The celebration is huge over here. I'm about to celebrate as well as I'm going into the end phase of making this remix. Should be pretty much there now. At least I can floor test it. Excited I finished the version one that I get to test out. And then after I'll come back to you and tell you what I need to fix or I need to add or everything's still open. So here we are backstage. First time the denim equipment got really wet, but luckily it survived. I tested out my new remix. I was super happy about it. 20 minutes. 20 minutes before I go to the airport. 20 minutes to pack and 20 minutes to grab a quick shower before I go out and travel again. 
had an awesome time out in Myanmar. DJing then and there made me realize how lucky I am. I get to experience stuff like this. The remix is pretty much finished. I am actually still waiting for Firebeat's feedback. I can't believe I nailed the mix down. You saw it all happening here and I'm so happy you were part of it. I want you to be part of next week's vlog as well. It's going down in the weekend right now. So this Friday, this Saturday, as you are seeing this, for the first time ever, you can send me your demos on my Twitter. It's at LateBackLuke. And who knows, maybe you'll get signed. I will make a vlog about this and I'm very curious about the tracks that'll come in. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And I will catch you back here next week on the true story and the real life. Until then, bells up, brave safely and salute.